What's going on? Sean Pierce Johnson here. We have another awesome pedal from Big Joe Stompbox Co. And it is their tremolo. Yes, Big Joe has a tremolo. And it's a dang good one if you ask me. If you're the kind of player that just needs a good, solid tremolo pedal that can get you that one specific tremolo sound that you need and you don't need a whole lot of fuss or features of some of the other options that are out there, or if you like some of the simpler pedals but need a few more settings to really get you the tone that you're after, this is one that you should really be looking at. It's rock solid, it sounds great. Let's quit talking, throw the pedal up on the screen and take a look at those controls. Now there's five knobs on here and they're all very easy to get your head around and not something that you wouldn't find on other tremolo pedal options on the market today. So let's take a look at them. First off, the tremolo sound is shaped by the speed and depth knob at the bottom, the smaller of the five knobs, and the shape control. Now speed, obviously how fast or slow your tremolo is gonna be, and depth being how much of that effect that you're going to hear. But the shape knob, now this is really cool. It's not something I've seen on, I've you know, you see shape controls on a lot of tremolo pedals, but this one feels the closest to like your classic tremolo sounds and, and sticks in that realm. When you start turning it counterclockwise, you get something more close to a square wave. But as you start turning it up, going clockwise on the knob, you get something that's more of a triangle wave. So it's a little smoother, not quite as choppy. And you can kind of, smoothly transition between those two waveforms. Yes, there's only two waveforms available, but at the end of the day, this pedal is all about classic tones and simplicity, if you ask me. Now, the two controls that are the most interesting to me are, starting with the simplest, the output knob. This is really great because sometimes when you use tremolo or other modulation effects, especially when it comes to amplitude modulation, which is basically modulation of volume, yes, Modulation of volume can happen. You know, we've talked about this before, people. I know we have. Sometimes you get this apparent loss of level. And this is a great way to help you gain stage or tremolo sound with your clean tone. And I'll show you a little bit about what how, how you can go about doing this later on in the video. But the control that has me really excited is this right here, and it's the tone knob. I've not seen a whole lot of tremolos with a tone knob, but it basically allows you an extra EQ voicing to be able to get a darker tremolo sound or add a little bit more brightness to the tremolo sound. And really, it's just an all around great thing if you're looking for a very specific sound. Sometimes having a little bit brighter of a tone can help that tremolo sound really cut through some like dark and dirty distortion. But we've talked enough about it, it's time to hear this thing. So we're gonna stick with the Jennings Navigator for this video. And if you have any other questions about the signal flow for this video, please look down in the description below. I think what we need to do is we need to hear these two different waveforms. So I'm gonna pick a speed and a depth setting so that you can really hear it. And I'm gonna sweep that knob so that you can hear some of the cool classic tremolo-y sounds that you can get just by turning the shape knob. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of nifty at that midpoint. You, you get to that transition point where things are just about 50-50, which is kind of a nifty blend of having something choppy, but that triangle wave starting to come in, you can almost get more of your initial pick attack in there, so it's not quite so synthy sounding, I guess I could say. But then again, I do have the depth turned all the way up because I really want you guys to hear these things. <laughs> Because there's only two, and because you can transition smoothly between them, you really get this nice softening effect to the transition, where you can really, you don't have to get 100% square, you don't have to have 100% triangle, you can start getting these rounding of the edges, where the sound, maybe you like square wave, but you don't like 100% square wave, to start turning the shape knob and it starts rounding those edges. It starts making it a little bit less. I always associate square wave tremolo with a very synthy kind of sound. Works great with fuzz and overdrive to get you some really extreme tremolo effects, but making it just a little bit more subtle is a very cool thing and it's a really great tool to have. Now, the other knob that I think we need to take a listen to is the tone knob. So using these same speed and depth settings, I'm gonna go ahead and back it off just a little bit on the shape knob. I'm gonna leave the tone at 12 o'clock, turn it full counterclockwise so you can hear it at its darkest, but then I'll turn it up so you can hear it as full brightest. <laughs> sparkle frequencies on these pickups really come through. You can start to hear the pick scraping across the strings a little bit as we start getting f towards the full range of the knob. Uh, it's still a really cool thing. And if you wanna kind of revoice your sound a little bit with a more subtle voicing, you can use that tone knob to great effect. Let's go ahead and turn that back to noon. 
Let's turn on some overdrive and let's hear how it affects a dirty tone. Let's hear the dirty tone first. <laughs> Now it's a pretty common thing with some of the tremolo pedal options out there that when you turn it on, you get an apparent loss of volume. Uh, that's a pretty normal thing and it's not anything that you should necessarily hold against those options, but with the Big Joe tremolo, the fact that we have an output knob to help us gain stage a little bit makes it that much more versatile. I'll show you what I mean with a more subtle tremolo setting as I play something a little bit prettier, uh, something with some arpeggios. This is, uh, well, it's a nice dark tremolo sound, but you'll see what happens when I turn on the tremolo, first without it. You can hear that it just drops us down ever so slightly in volume. It's not a crazy amount, but it's enough that it's noticeable. So here's usually how I like to go about it. First, set that output knob to 12 o'clock. I don't care what amp you're playing through. I don't care what guitar you're using. 12 o'clock, that's your bass line. Find the tremolo sound that you like. I've got my speed, my depth, my shape, and my tone setting. And that's what I like. I like this tone. Add on a little delay. but I need this guitar sound to really be heard. It's clean, in a dense mix, it's not really gonna be heard. So, I'm gonna just slowly start bringing up the output. Let's start at one o'clock. Let's turn off the tremolo and then we'll turn it on as we're playing and compare. Put it up just a little bit more. Turn the tremolo off.
and we got there just by slowly turning it up, turn it on, turn it off, boom, we have our tone. So that's really all you need to know about getting a great sound with the Big Joe Tremolo. It's these very simple little things that can really make this classic sounding pedal more versatile than some of the other options on the market. But the way we should close out this video is by me showing you some of my favorite tremolo sounds. So let's dive into them, starting with a little bit of swampy ambience, if you will. The name of the game with this particular setting is subtlety. It's all about not hearing it when I'm playing the strummed chords, but when I hold out those chords, that little bit of motion is a nice little dimension and makes things a little bit more exciting. I'm also using the tone knob to shape the tone of the crunch a little bit, as well as use the volume to push the front end of my amplifier for just a little bit more grit. Let's hear it. have it my friends that is your taste of the big joe Stompbox co tremolo in terms of the classic tremolo pedals you know the ones that get those sounds from the amplifiers that we know and love this is easily one of the most versatile on the market it definitely makes up for some of the shortcomings of the simpler tremolo pedals on the market that extra bit of adjustment from the volume and tone really comes in handy now there are gonna be some of you out there that wish this had tap tempo, expression pedal control, and like five other waveforms to the tremolo. There are tremolo pedals that do that out there on the market. But if you're like me, at least I've discovered about myself, I tend to use one tremolo setting, set it and forget it. And anytime I need it, I kick it on and there it is, making me very, very happy indeed. This is a great one for the blues guy, the surf guy, the classic rock guy. If you just need a great solid tremolo sound, the Big Joe's Tremolo, that's the one for you. And it just looks awesome in that raw aluminum enclosure, by the way. Just figured I might as well mention that. 
And hey, I'd love to know what you guys thought of the Big Joe Tremolo. Let me know your thoughts, positive or negative, in the comments section below. And when you see it, please do click the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and come back soon for another pedal demo. But if you'd like to see that demo before anyone else in the world, as well as get some exclusive content, please consider joining and becoming a patron on my Patreon page. As always, it's awesome that you guys have chosen to not only check out new gear with me, but spend part of your day with me. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson and wishing you guys all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.